What we're dealing with here is a complete lack of respect for the law. The following claim is not only wrong, it is also absurd and insulting, and I will explain why. Good morning. See what I mean? It's not morning, and I can prove it! Okay, well that's not the claim. Uh, to continue... I... I found it, uh, maybe it was one or two weeks ago, I found a, uh, or saw a report about global warming. I used to believe in global warming, and for about a few years ago, I stopped believing in it. That's like saying, I stopped believing in the laws of physics. That's not the claim either. To continue... Because, um, even famous people, when they came out against it, when they spoke common sense, Every single sane person out there comes out against global warming. That's not the claim either that I am going to show that is false. To continue. They were just blackballed by the, by, by the industry, by te television, BBC. Bro, they wouldn't give them any more work. People, famous people, were booed by, by the audience, just suggesting that it was a con. That claim, of course, is also bullshit, but it's not the one that I am interested in. I wish you would hurry up and get to the point. But this is one piece of news they well and truly buried in 2007. We're almost there to the claim. You know, the discovery of Noah's Ark was also well and truly buried, and for the same reason. And it was that all the planets are warming up. Ta-da! There we are. There is the claim. All of the planets are warming up. This is, of course, wrong. It is also absurd. It is also asinine to say. It is also insulting to everybody's intelligences. So, I asked this person, it's okay if I make a reply video. Um, would you like that? Would you um, view it if I made it? I asked him again. I asked him again, he kept evading. Finally, he said, and I quote, quote, make a video, then also, and after that, of course, I stopped reading. I have to admit that I was disappointed in that reply because other people got replies that were much more amusing than that one from this person, such as, Angry, not so old hippie, which I will share now. From Arg Gary, sent to Angry, not so old hippie, quote, You fucking idiot, 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 etc., 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 etc. Finally, you worthless fucking cunt. I feel slighted. How come he didn't send a message like that to me when I deserve it so much more than angry not so old hippie does? <sighs> okay. To address the false claim now. There is only one possible mechanism by which all of the planets in the solar system can increase their temperature at the same time. The sun would have to increase its total solar irradiance significantly. Not only has that not happened, but the sun's total solar irradiance is actually going the wrong way. For the past 45 years or so, total solar irradiance has been decreasing, not increasing. If it was not due for human-released carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases, Earth would actually be cooling right now, not warming. That assertion that all of the planets in the solar system our warming is not only false, but it is asinine and insulting. If the claim was true, all of the scientists out there would be saying it's true. They would be saying, that is a very good reason why Earth is warming. But there are no scientists out there saying that. For the assertion that all of the planets in the solar system are warming to be true, Every single scientist on the planet would have to be lying to us. 
tens of thousands of them. That does not mean that some of the planets in the solar system are not warming. A couple of them are. A few of their satellites are also. Take, for example, the planet Mars. Two images of the planet Mars were taken 22 years apart. The first one showed a higher albedo than the second one. That is, sunlight being reflected from the planet. This is almost certainly due to ice at the polar regions that had melted in the second images that was present in the first image. Later analysis showed that the lower albedo was not due to the melting of the poles, but rather due to a dust storm that lasted three entire years and covered the entire planet. Please see note 1. While Mars has actually been cooling very slightly, Neptune's largest moon, Triton, has actually been warming. This is due to the fact that Neptune's moon, Triton, actually experiences seasons just like Earth does. Please see note 2. There is indeed excellent evidence to show that for the past 8 or 9 years or so, the planet Uranus has been warming. Of course, before then, there is excellent evidence that shows that it had been cooling first, and before that cooling, it was warming, and before that warming, it was cooling, and that before that cooling, it was warming. This is because the planet Uranus experiences heating and cooling due to convection and not radiative forcing. Please see note 3. The facts show that almost a hundred bodies in the solar system, planets and their satellites, almost all of them have remained the same temperature, as far as scientists can tell, that they have had for millennia, for millions of years, very likely. A tiny few are cooling, a tiny few are warming. There is one planet in the solar system currently warming due to human activities. I will leave it up to the exercise of all the intelligent people out there to name what that planet is.